guys, it's Sujix here. Welcome back to, uh, well, be welcome back to Let's Plays. It has been a while. Today we're going to be playing Pokemon Spectrum. This is a fan-made Pokemon game. I love playing my fan-made Pokemon games. We've done Blaze Black. Uh, we've done, uh, what was it called? We've done, uh, Sacred Gold. And now we're doing Pokemon Spectrum. This one's a little bit different. This one, I mean, as you can tell straight off the bat, is a little bit based off, uh, the region is a little bit based off Australia. Where, if you guys don't know, I'm a little bit Australian. I live here. I've always lived here. So, yeah, just a little bit Australian. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're going to be playing this one. It's also a little bit underdeveloped, so we're going to be playing it as far as the game has been developed. Um, and then we'll probably end it there. When it's a bit more developed, we'll, we'll start up the series all over again. But for now, we're going to have a lot of fun with it. It includes completely new Pokemon. Like, look at this. Look at this green little koala thing right here. This is a completely new Pokemon. We've got new Pokemon all over the place. New gyms, new places. It's going to be super awesome. Uh, I haven't touched this game, and I know very, very little about it. So we're going to be all going into a blind. That's the way I love to play it. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, starting ourselves a new game. We've got, uh, from, from Yucca, whoever, whoever that is. Oh, we got this dude. Right. Okay. Sweet Afro, dude. What was I going to type again? Yes, that was it. Uh, yes. Soon to be Pokemon trainer. You are about to enter a brand new world. It will be familiar yet different. You may already know me, but I'll introduce myself anyway. Dude, I have no idea who the fuck you are. Uh, I'll introduce myself anyway. I'm Professor Joshua Yucca. Uh, you will be receiving... That guy does not look like a Joshua Yucca. Alright. You will be receiving your first Pokemon from me. But you're already aware of that, right? To get you started as soon as possible, I decided to send some of my assistants to deliver some gear you'll need on your journey. Uh, but you'll still need to come to my lab to choose your rare Pokemon. You better hurry because they won't be there forever. I am willing to bet they will be there until I decide to come. But, uh, alright. That should do it. But what did they look like again? Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ah, let's go with the boy. Let's just go. Let's go straight forward. Let's not meme. Let's not meme the game straight off the bat. Uh, yes, I'd like to know your name. Or should we meme the game straight off the bat? Nah, we'll just do two shakes. All right. Uh, now I'm playing this on my computer, obviously, so it makes it really easy to type stuff like that. Uh, Sushi and Scent. They should be there soon. To be here soon? Something like that. The Chroma region is full of mysteries. I wonder what those new trainers will un uncover alongside their Pokemon. But there's no point thinking about it. We shall see soon enough. So, uh, yeah, the Australian region is apparently called Chroma, um, and, uh, Chroma is like, it's, it's spell, it's like a weird spelling of the word Chroma, C-H, which goes with Pokemon Spectrum, you know, you got the colours and stuff like that. I don't know how the colours and the Spectrum and the Chroma kind of colours theme matches with Australia, but I ain't gonna argue with it. I like that Australia got recognised in Pokemon for once. Um, come to my lab to choose your rare Pokemon, you better hurry because they won't be there for- oh, he's just reading the, the email. Alrighty, sweet. Now, I don't know really the controls at the moment. All I've been doing is pressing enter and now the directional keys. There you are! Who's this dude? Yo, scientist man. Hey, Sushix, sorry for budging in, but the professor gave me this. Parcel delivered to you. <laughs> Sushix received Pokedex. So wheat. Obtained Pokeballs. So wheat. Put the Pokeballs in the Pokeballs pocket. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, the professor managed to find a new batch of Pokemon, so he wants to see you ASAP. He yells ASAP at me. Uh, that package I just gave you is pretty useless without Pokemon, right? So get one now. They won't. So get one now, your very own Pokemon! Blah, blah, blah. Press the Z key on my keyboard. Uh, did you hear that? Don't mind me. I would just like to talk to myself. So Z is like the letter, is, is like A on, on your DS or whatever. It's like, it's like your interaction key. So we've got a healing thingy in here. Uh, I did kind of do a little bit of research. I, I, okay, I, I'm kind of not 100% blind. But uh, yeah, I just saw some image or something that was like, ooh, how cool is it that all the houses have got like these Pokemon Center things installed in them. So I'm pretty sure there's no Pokemon Centers. Or at least there's no Pokemon Center uh, in the first town. So we're gonna, what's what's this? What's this say? Nothing. I'm pressing the Z key. Well, X is like, okay, that's, that's, that's the X key. Oh, Z is to run. Ooh, okay. Hey, Sushix. Um, okay, so this is my rival, I guess. Did you get the email from Professor 2? I'm going to see him right away. I'm sure Knight will be there too. He always seemed really impatient about leaving this place. Anyway, see you there. Who the fuck is Knight? What a dumb name. Can we go down here? Knight, nah, you need uh, Strength and Rock Smash. Oh, look, it's a Pokemon. Tum! So it's like a, t like a tumbleweed Pokemon, I'm assuming. Tum! What a, d what a dumb name. Tum! I just, I don't know, I'm sorry, I'm being a little bit uh, inappropriate, I just, in my head, he just seems like he's a little bit uh, mentally challenged, and there's just this Pokemon going around going, Tom! Uh, normally, I'd help, I, I help the guards against, but I'm up to you today, people like us have to make sure dangerous Pokemon don't come into town. Uh, Tumbly, that's the name. Outside of the tall grass are harmless though, so you might see a few of them around town. 
Alrighty. But apparently in grass, they're very dangerous. But outside the grass, it's like, ah, whatever. You just... Just a bit of uh, grass blown in the wind, pretty much. There's no Pokemon Center here, so the professor had healing machines installed in everyone's homes. How nice of him. Yeah, so that was the thing. I, was, I saw an image of, like, someone talking to, to her, and they're like, oh, yeah, they're installed in everyone's homes. What Pokemon we got here? Chi-Chi. I'm going to call it uh, the the uh, Chi... Chi... Uh, what's a... What, uh, oh, yeah. Chi-Bird. That's the name for now. Hello, hiker man. What's going on? You can run automatically if you press the shift key, and you can switch Pokemon using the A and D keys. Technology sure is amazing. Oh, if I press shift, I have to hold down shift. Well then, what's the difference between holding down shift and holding down Z? I thought by automatically it meant like I could press it and then uh, it would automatically run without me holding down any key, but whatever. Whose house is this one? We got some scientists here. Perhaps I should start my own adventure. That way I can learn everything there is about Pokemon. Alrighty. You guys are all useless. It, it, uh, senpai, uh, uh, is, is that a, is that a p -p Pokedex? I've always wanted one, but Yaka seems picky with who he gives them to. It'll register any Pokemon you see in catch, though it won't activate if you haven't seen any Pokemon. All right, thank you for explaining Pokemon basics to someone who's played Pokemon since he was a kid. Like pretty much everyone on the planet. Okay, uh, what's going on up here? What's what's uh, what's going on? What's going on up oh, There's no one here. How interesting. This is, this is someone's house. Is there a sign out front? There is. Whose house is this? Ooh, Knight's house. The infamous Knight that we haven't met yet. Uh, and that's where we live. What's across the bridge? What do we got over here? We got, uh, we got, uh, the houses we've already been to. And whose house is this? Eve's house. I'm assuming that's the person who came and talked to us the second we left our house, I guess. Uh, ooh, Pokeball. Found a Pokeball! Free Pokemon. See, this is why, this is why you explore all the houses. You get all the items that you can. All the items that the game will let you have. Alright, let's get down here. We get a little uh, tumbleweed thingy. We'll go check this house real quick. Whose is this? Sunny's house. Whoever the hell Sunny is. Maybe Eve. Maybe Sunny was the one we talked to. And Eve is just some random person we haven't met yet. Ah, there's nothing there. Alright. Time to get our first Pokemon. Now, I don't even know. See, uh, I have no idea what the Pokemon are in this game. No clue whatsoever. Why can't I just get my Pokemon now? Calm down, Knight. It'll be more interesting if everyone chooses their Pokemon at the same time, don't you think? What do you mean? You can stop complaining now. Everyone's here now. All right, great. That everyone's gathered. You guys can finally start your journey. Sushix will get to choose his Pokemon first. What? Why? Because Sunny said she likes any Pokemon and you've been annoying me for the past hour. Yeah, get shit on, fool. That's what you get for being annoying. All right. This might give me a tactical advantage anyway. Yeah, we all know that it's kind of shitty to pick the first Pokemon. Because then the other person just like stuffs you up. Alrighty, so what do we got here? First one, we got Kokoala. Kokoala? Co He's got cock in his name, that's nice. Uh, so we got the Koala Grass Pokemon. We have Pyru, which is the Fire Kangaroo Pokemon. And we have Taplat, which is the Water. Um, what's the Platypus Pokemon? I really like water Pokemon. I normally choose the water Pokemon in games like this. And this guy is a fucking cutie. Look at him. Look at that little guy. Uh, we are going with Taplat, the water platypus Pokemon. Would you like to give a nickname to Taplat? Ah! Ah! Nah. We'll, uh, maybe we'll, can we nickname them, like, whenever we feel like it? Because if we can do that, I might just, uh, get you guys to rename it, like I used to do when we played, uh, Pokemon games. Just get you guys to rename my Pokemon from the comments. And seeing as, uh, you know, spoiler alert, I don't really have many viewers anymore. Uh, you know, any of the comments on today's video will probably have a good chance of, like, being used as a nickname. Uh, anyway, you can check to the backyard, find some weak Pokemon for practice before you head out on your adventure. If you need to recover your Pokemon, you can always use that healing device I installed in your home, or the one right here in my lab. And one last thing, a wise man once said that you can, uh, let your Pokemon out of its Pokeball with the control key. I don't know. <laughs> I like how they're sorta of aware that they're in a video game, but if they really think about it, they have no idea. Like, oh yeah, yeah, someone said if you use the control key, you can send out your Pokemon. So that's like awareness that they're in a video game. But then they're like, what the fuck is a control key? And they're like, I don't know, this, is, this guy's really smart. He's just talking about some control key. All right, if I use control, ooh, that's a really nice feature. Look at that. How cool is that? Um, Today, oh, not today, but like for, for the Let's Plays and stuff going forward, uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit of an announcement video later on. Um, I'm sure. But I'm going to be doing Let's Plays and stuff. My channel has gone through a really, uh, just, 
weird, you know, sort of. There's been a, it's been a lot of changes and a lot of absences for a while. Where are the Pokemon? Um, but we're getting back into Let's Plays. There will be no more Minecraft, as I've already said. But Pokemon is obviously on the table. What do we got here? Opposol. There's like a little little uh, rat. I'm assuming is like the, this region's Rattata. Um, okay, what will Taplat do? Ooh, what do you think we're going to do? We're going to tackle this bitch. Um, so I'm going to be bringing code words back. I think everyone enjoyed code words. And I always enjoyed giving them out. Um, if you guys don't know what code words are, they're basically just a random word that you include in your comment. You can either just say, the code word is fucking shit tits. Um, or you can like kind of like slip it into a comment. Both are pretty cool. I, I, I do kind of like it when people like slip it into a normal comment. Like you can't tell that the code word's in there unless you know what the code word is. Um, but today's code word is going to be platypus. It's going to be as simple as that. It's going to be code word is platypus for today. Comment it down below if you're a cool person. Um, cool people only, please. And, uh, yeah, it just shows a little bit like the people who kind of watch the entire video. I mean, someone who's watching this far into the video is likely to watch the entire video, whereas some people watch like the first like two minutes and drop out. So, uh, yeah. Also, my Let's Plays used to be like 20-ish minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. My Let's Plays now are going to be around 40 minutes long. So you guys are going to get longer content. Um, and, uh, yeah, it just kind of, it means that you get more content in less episodes. So, um... Yeah, it just gives you guys something to watch, maybe put on in the background. Um, enjoy the sweet, sultry sound of my voice. And, uh, you know, just have fun watching Pokemon Australian version, apparently. I do I do actually really like this game because I'm Australian. Like, I like that it's just like, oh, you got Australian starter Pokemon. And I'm hoping there will be like, is there any normal Pokemon? So are there, aren't these the monkeys that are in normal Pokemon? So there is normal Pokemon in the game, I think, maybe? I swear these monkeys in like norm they're in like gen 5 or some shit. Or even gen 6. I don't know. Um so there's normal Pokemon. And there's fan made Pokemon, which is pretty cool. Uh, now I don't know how many episodes we're gonna get out of this, because as I said, it's not 100 percent done. But we're gonna play it until the game's like, hey, fuck you, stop stop going further into the game, because it's not it's not done yet. Um until we get to that point. How have we not leveled up yet? We should level up from this. And then hopefully we get like water gun or something. Water gun or bubble, I'm sure we get at level 6. Alright, what do we get? What do I get? Go to level 6. No? Oh, we have to wait to level 7, really? Alright. We are going to have to heal up, though. I do kind of want to get a water type move before we move forward. Uh, just to give us that little bit of an advantage. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what sort of happens. Healing complete, thank you. Uh, you may also notice, I'm going to try and do like a little bit of editing in my videos. Not like cuts. But more just like graphics coming onto screen or I, I, I've i been throwing around the idea of like, besides episode one, which obviously this is, but like episode, ooh, Pan Surge. See, I feel like that's, that's not what I was thinking of. That's not the monkey Pokemon I was thinking of. Because that's, you can tell that's not made by Nintendo. That's a fan-made Pokemon. And all the fan-made Pokemon look pretty good, but you can tell they're not like actual Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, Tackle. If this guy uses an, oh, he's level three. We won't use an electric move. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I, I was thinking, I was throwing around the idea of like, start of episode 2 it'll be like, previously on Pokemon Spectrum, and then it'll it'll just show like a brief 10 second thing of like, whatever the big moments were of the first episode. You know, so then no matter what episode you jump in on, you kind of get a little bit caught up. Or if there's been a day or two since the previous episode, you get a little bit of a refresher of what just happened. So, if that's, if I get that like down, and that's that's pretty simple to do, then yeah, that'll. I think that's just a nice addition to my let's plays. Make them a little bit more, a little bit more edited, a little bit more unique instead of just like chucking out whatever. Now I'm pretty sure these are actual Pokemon. This one rings a lot more of a bell, but it looks like it's been re re sprited for the game. But it's the same Pokemon. I don't know. I feel like I nearly want to Google Pampor. Let me get my phone out while while we're in this battle. Because all I have to do is pretty much press Enter to to tackle. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's Google Pampor. Now, don't blame me, because, uh, let's see. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay, so it's an actual Pokemon. Actually, I missed, I, I locked my phone before I checked something else. What generation is it? And let's keep walking around. Generation. So there's a grass type and a fire type. So the electric type must be new. Like, this one is in actual Pokemon. But the electric one we ran into must be new, I guess? Who, who, who knows? Actually, you guys will probably know. 
I don't know. So it's number 515. It's generation 5. Alright, cool. Cool, cool. These are all Gen 5, the monkey type, pan Pokemon. Uh, they are a bit low level. I feel like if we were versing level 5s and stuff, this would go much faster. But I do really want in just a water type move. If we go up to level 7, we still don't gain a move. We're just going to continue on. Tackle. Tackle this biatch. But yeah, I like going in the grass at the moment. Just seeing kind of what um, what Pokemon there are in the game. Hey, Bubble. There we go. I called it. I said Water Gun or Bubble. Alright. So this game looks super nice. Um, it's got like um, it's got like the Nintendo or 3DS kind of graphics. But uh, as you can tell, there's only one screen. There's not two screens. So actually, do I want to... I want to go through there, don't I? Um, so, so yeah, it's kind of like a, if, if, if Game Boy had, um, oh, we didn't need to go through there, did we? If Game Boy had better graphics, basically, this is what it would look like. Construct this area to suit grass, fire, and water type Pokemon. You can catch them if you want. Oh, I forgot about catching Pokemon. Ah, it's fine. We don't need to catch Pokemon. Sushix, wait up a second. You didn't think you'd leave without at least battling me first now, did you? All right, here we go. The classic rival battle versus knight now what level is his pokemon hopefully it's still level five and he hasn't trained it at all because i trained mine a couple levels first or maybe it's set to be the same level as you no okay it's level six i'm level seven i knew getting that extra level was worth it we should be able to just tackle him to death because we are slightly stronger there we go you scratch i ain't worried you think you worry me, cockwalla, cockboy, cockbear? All right, let's go. He's got snot coming out of his nose. Ridiculous. Mine is a professional platypus, and you've got the the dummy cockwalla. Good choice. But you know what I'm gonna bet? I'm gonna bet like the third evolution of Taplat is gonna look. It's gonna look pretty cool, but the third evolution of co cockwalla is gonna be like this massive fucking bear that's just gonna rip me to shreds with like grass type moves and like bite and shit so uh looking forward to that one that was sarcasm i'm not looking forward to that but i actually don't think this game progresses the game isn't made enough for me to see that i don't think so what's up refresher actually i came here with a favor to ask i need one of you to deliver something for me i can't do it because my pokemon is weakened speaking of which i gotta hurry back and heal at sushi's i'll rematch you later yeah because i'm the better pokemon trainer i'll make your delivery can you deliver this parcel to my wife for me? It shouldn't be too much trouble. She's in the house next to the Pokemon Center. I do it myself, but I have some research to do here with the Pokemon I found. Thanks. And then the classic leave your hometown. You have to make a delivery uh, storyline. Oh, and I healed your Pokemon. I've done the same for your friend there, but he's in such a rush. Yeah, dude, Knight. So they pretty much made Knight come off like an asshole, <laughs> which is great. Uh, oh, like he's only a little bit of an asshole. Mr. Yoko told me many of the Pokemon in this grass can't be found in other regions. Oh, well, I've found that, yes. Oh, here we go. We got Rypek. His name is, is Rypek. A little bird Pokemon. So it's, it's actually kind of good to get the bird Pokemon. The first bird Pokemon. Like Pidgey, uh, Sparrow. Not Sparrow. Sparrow Sparks. It sucks. Uh, but Taylor. So then when you get later on into the game, you get Swellow. You get Pidgeot. Those sort of things. So maybe we'll, uh, we'll use Bubble for the first time. And... Uh, Okay, what's that? Ooh, that was pretty good. And then we'll just catch it with a Pokeball. Should be straight off the bat, free catch. Bag. Pokeball, Pokeball, Pokeball! Pokeball, Pokeball, Pokeball! Easy. Easy fucking peasy. Now, you are gonna notice that I actually am swearing a lot. That's because it's my natural, my natural commentating, my natural talking is just includes a lot of swearing because I'm Australian, and also I guess that's just my personality. Um, I it it kind of comes with the fact that I'm not doing Minecraft anymore. My videos are going to be a little bit more grown up, which means a little bit more swearing. Uh, so hopefully you guys are, I mean, fine with it. But that's kind of, I'm doing I'm doing YouTube for me now, and uh, hopefully you guys. Do I wanna, no, I don't want to do that. Um, you know, kind of. Jo tag along for the ride because we're gonna have a lot of fun but yeah probably need to be okay with a little bit of swearing here and there because it's gonna gonna happen 
It won't be like... I, I don't think I ever do really obscene swearing. It's not like angry swearing, it's just like, it's part of my vocabulary swearing. Ah, where are we going? There's just gonna more grass. Ah, it's like the second I walk into the grass, what are you doing to me? Alright, we are going to run away from a level 2 Rypek. Level 2 Rypek we are not going to worry about. Intimidate, lowered, tap let's attack. Run. Get away from this boy. Alright, now you're not a trainer, are you? Why are you looking for potions in grass if you don't want to battle? I don't want to battle anyone, I'm just going to look in grass for potions. Because everyone knows that's where they are. I actually want to bet this is a potion. <laughs> that I'm about to go pick up, it's going to be a potion. Ugh, this guy's looking in the wrong area. Yes, I understand that Intimidate lowered Taplet's attack. Run away, there we go. Alrighty, pick this one up, found a potion, there we go. I found one for you, buddy. Alright, let's keep on going. Oh, trainer! Yay! First trainer battle, besides our rival, which doesn't count. Be the greenhorn trader like you. What did you just call me? What, what did you just call Greenhorn I don't even- I'm not even offended because I, I don't really know what that means. I'm assuming a newbie? A fresh, fresh newbie? Yeah, but you've got a level 4, I've got a level 8. So, good luck, uh, good luck with this battle, mate. Made the best Pokemon win. Alright, bubble, 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 let's see. Oh, you got a little bit buttfucked there. Got a little bit destroyed, that's fine. That's fine, I'm sure you'll you'll bring it back. You'll make a comeback. Oh, no, unfortunately you won't be making a comeback. Uh, nice try though, nice try. It was close, it was a close game. Close, uh, close battle. Got 64 bucks that we stole from this kid. Sweet! Now, you can't get in there without cut. Um, so I'm assuming we'll get cut in the next town. After the next gym. Hey, we're in Taldoon Town! The first, uh, first town we come across. That's blocked off. Okay, we got, a, oh, we got the gym over here. Who's this? Some of the preschoolers are antagonistic towards people not from this town. See, there's no way Pokemon would ever use a word like antagonistic. Because they aim their game for kids. And kids aren't going to be like, oh, antagonistic. Oh, I know what that is. I guess they feel the need to protect the town. How cute. They're just going to say like, oh, the preschoolers don't like da da da. Uh, this is my favorite spot. I think I can even see Lil Doon Town from here. Okay, so there's a bunch of random cones for some reason. This guy's being chased by a bird. Ah! Ah! There we go. This right pack loves playing with me. Alrighty. Hey buddy, how you doing? Is that a statue of a Pokemon? I sure haven't seen it before. Is this like a rare Pokemon or something? Is this the legendary of this this area? I have a sister, but she's all the way in Lil Doon Town. I hope I can get my own Pokemon one day so I can visit her. Yeah, you're alright. Uh, bop. Little Doon Town and Tal Doon Town actually used to be one large city many, uh, many years ago, but some mysterious event ended up making them separated. That's interesting. Alright. Yucca's house! So we gotta deliver the parcel here. To, to this bitch over here. Hello! You must be the person Joshua told me about. Thanks! That's weird. There's an extra in here. It's useless for me to have it. Why don't you take it? Ah, oh, I got a Pokey Gear. Nice. Helpful on your travels right now, it doesn't have many functions, but it does include a map. While you're here, I may as well give you a technical machine, too. False swipe. Ooh, that's a nice move. False swipe. Doesn't it make sure that the Pokemon doesn't die? Like, it doesn't, it doesn't one-hit KO. Yeah, 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 all right. You can use it as many times as you wish. Really? That's not how TMs work, but... Okay. Oh, yeah, didn't they change that in the more recent... Uh, like Pokemon games, like TMs can be used a million times. Kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, you're talking a lot. All right, let's. Ah, I, I spoke to you again. All right, let's go. Let's head out of here. Move on to. Okay, we got a Pokemon Center. We should heal up. I do want to talk to everyone first. I wish I could travel the world, but I'm too old for that kind of thing now. All right. Oh. That's probably not true. You probably could still travel the world. Stop being a little pussy ass bitch. You're really inexperienced trainer, you should try checking out the preschool. Psh, I doubt you need it though. Ah, this guy knows what's up, this guy knows what's up, this guy knows that I'm a legendary trainer. Are you going to catch a bunch of Pokemon to raise simultaneously, or are you just going to go to focus on one Pokemon? Look, I generally try and train all the Pokemon at once, but it never works out, and I normally just end up training my starter Pokemon. And then when it gets to a point where my starter Pokemon won't let me win the battle, 
then I have to start training other Pokemon, so it's probably not the most efficient route. Uh, hey, you're a trainer, right? I heard Professor Yucca recently found some new Pokemon and gave them to trainers. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes, he did. And uh, last house. Is this the preschool or not? No. Okay. There was one time I saw Pokemon glow and next second it was totally different Pokemon. It was awesome. All right. Kids these days seem to love traveling with their Pokemon. I wasn't as adventurous when I was a child. All righty. So Professor Yucca with three Pokemon going to Lildoon Town. The blue one is so cute. I wonder if that, that line changes whatever Pokemon you pick. Because I've obviously got the blue one. So I wonder if like that changes if you pick the red or the green one. All right. Let's talk to people in here. Who is the... What is this? Hello there. I am the helpful masked man of helpfulness. <laughs> Need your Pokemon to follow you? Talk to me. Your Pokeball is already unlocked. Wait, I'm the... Wait, wait, wait. What else does he say? Can all Pokemon follow me? Why do you wear a mask? I can't let people know my identity. If they knew that, they would hunt me down every hour of the day for help. As great as I am, I've still got to sleep, you know. Interesting. It looks like they just couldn't be bothered developing a sprite for this guy, so they just used that. Pokemon centers and Pokemon used to be separate buildings, but recently the whole region went under a renovation to have them in one place. How convenient. All right, talk to this dude. God, I can't stop coming back to heal my Pokemon. Even if they only get a little bit hurt, I become paranoid and rush back here. Okay, talk to this person, get a little bit of a healing up going. There we go. So I wonder if we'll really train our Rypec. Hopefully we'll see you again. And the Pokemon's up here, but I don't really need to buy anything at the moment. At least I don't think I do. Uh, what do we got? What's over here? Oh, we got Route 3. All right, I want to do the gym now though. Can we do the gym? Am I going to get my, my, my butt fucked? By the first gym? We shall see. Bop. Oh no, this is the preschool. There's no gym here. Ah, I got duped. My four students ran off. Where are they? Where'd they go? Interesting. Is that the four people that are like blocking this thing over here? Talk to our leader. He's, he's to my left. Talk to our leader. He's to my left, I think. Talk to our leader. He's to my left, I think. What? Is that? Oh. Oh, to their left. Right. Okay. Uh, is that a Poke? Yeah, you must be from Taldoon Town, but we must test you first. Oh god, we're getting gangbanged! <laughs> My preschool is... What are you doing, guys? Alright. Level 3 pants. Ah, this is gonna be easy. This is gonna be so easy. And we'll get up to like level 9 or 10. Definitely level 9. Maybe level 10 if we're lucky. Uh. You guys also might notice that my, my microphone may be a little bit better quality. You might have less of the, like, the banging or, like, vibrations through my desk. They'll still be there a little bit because I don't yet have a, um, what do you call it? The, the bloody, uh, uh, shock, shock mount. So, shock mount is basically a thing you put on your microphone. So, it kind of, like, absorbs the vibrations from whatever's holding your microphone. Um, so I used to sit my microphone right in front of me, like, on my desk and it would get like all the vibrations so any tiny bang on my desk a little bit of the vibration from the computer on my desk uh like you would hear the keyboard and the mouse a little bit more than you should um i recently went and bought a like a microphone arm so i can basically move it up and down all around my desk and it's like attached at the back so it basically means a little bit less vibrations it'll be completely gone once i get a shock mount but i need to get some money to afford it first um but yeah, it makes it a lot easier to use my microphone, pull it up and down. Like I can just like push it back and it's out of the way instead of like putting it, like physically moving the microphone somewhere else. I can just like, yeah, move it. Oh, I should have just used bubble, but that's fine. I was busy ranting. But yeah, hopefully the microphone quality is a little bit better. I'm also using OBS to record now, which has a, um, what do you call it? A sound thing. I don't know. It's got some filters, which should make it like, sound better sort of uh, instead of using audacity now so i basically use obs to record everything in multiple tracks and then i edit in premiere which i never used before as well so there's a lot of changes that's happened between me doing let's plays now and me doing let's plays a year ago or even at the end of last year when i was still doing pixel one um also something else if you guys were hoping for more micro videos it's probably not going to happen which i've already said if you are only only interested in watching uh, minecraft I said Pokemon or Minecraft before. I'm not doing Minecraft videos again. If you're only interested in watching Minecraft videos, nothing else, no Pokemon, no any games, like I'm, I've got a lot of games I want to play, uh, then 
honestly, straight up, I love you. But, I mean, it's probably best for my channel and for you guys that you unsubscribe. The reason it's best for me is because the way YouTube looks at it is like, Oh, this guy's got X amount of subscribers. None of them want to watch this video because it's not, you know, Minecraft. And then we're going to try and give it less attention because no, people aren't clicking on it. So if you're unsubscribed though, then you're not counted in those people who aren't going to click on it. Um, if you are kind of interested in helping me out with my channel and stuff, I've got a Discord. It's going to be in the description. Join that. Come talk to me. I love talking to all of you guys. Um, otherwise, I'm working on spending a shit ton of money that I really don't have. But because I love streaming, I'm doing it. Uh, spending a lot of money on trying to stream. So streams may be coming back. We'll see what happens. I have to get kind of lucky with it and still, like, I have to cut back on a lot of expenses to kind of pay for it. But it'll it'll be worth it. Um, and, uh, yeah. That's kind of small updates. I mean, I'm probably going to do a proper update video. Anyway, that was me ranting throughout this entire four-way battle because it was a pretty boring battle. Uh, I just have to keep, pr like, tackling them. So we're on route two now. Yeah, I, feel, I felt like we skipped a route, because we found route 3, and then, uh, but yeah, we're supposed to be going over here into route 2. I probably should have healed my Pokemon, okay. Oh, we got Tumbly, this is our first Tumbly battle. Is it like ground type, maybe? Uh, we'll see. If Bubble is super effective. Uh, and yeah, as I said, videos are also going to be like 40 minutes long now. So you're getting getting a lot longer videos. Uh, we'll see whether that's beneficial or not. It's beneficial if people watch the entire video because it means that my uh, my average retention time, my average view time of, of people watching my videos goes up. Uh, but at the same time, it would decrease overall views and money because um, let's say this game takes five hours to complete, right? So I'm probably going to be able to do that in six or seven episodes. Uh, but if I was doing shorter, it'd be in like 10 episodes. So that's 10 episodes worth of views and um, and money as opposed to six or seven episodes of views. So the views would be down, but the audience retention would go up. And I honestly feel like you guys deserve like 40 minute episodes instead of like 20 minute episodes. Um, all right, let's heal our Pokemon. I'm going to keep heading down route three. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Talk, 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 talk. I wonder if I um should go into the settings and like increase the talk speed or something. I haven't looked at the settings at all since we started. Um, all right, let's see. Options, music volume. That's fine. Oh, speed fast, battle effects on, running key, hold, toggle, toggle. That's what I wanted to do. Speech frame. Oh, there's only one type. Battle effects, style, switch, set, switch means you can switch, hang on after, um, we'll leave that, we'll leave that, okay, uh, how do we back, there we go, so, yes, I don't have to hold down shift anymore, it just automatically runs, that's amazing, alright, why would you want to turn that off, you just, everyone basically always holds down run, uh, Pokemon, alright, I don't want to catch a Tumbly. I'm not interested. Oh, we should also double check if I can just rename my Pokemon whenever I like. Because if we can do that, then I'm just going to ask you guys to rename my Pokemon. Makes it a lot more interesting. Ah. Oh, it's not very effective. I did not notice that last time. So it must be Grass-type. It's Grass-type Pokemon. Okay. Also makes sense. I feel like Tumbleweed is more is not really a grass typey sort of... Uh, thing in the real world. It's a very dry sort of like Dirty thing. So I, I don't know. I felt like ground type maybe makes more sense, but This one this specific tumbleweed sort of Pokemon's got like you can see the little leaves in it and twigs. So Yeah, I mean it's not I mean at least it's not like fire type or something Trainer, let's do it. Let's fight You should be prepared to lose to me right now. Ooh, you've got that big talk. Okay. Let's see what you've got last Beck if that is your real name. Level 7 Rypek. You think you're going to beat me with a level 7 Rypek? What a joke. Get prepared. Bend over. And get prepared to get completely obliterated. <laughs> Quick attack. 6 damage. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, your Rypek looks a little bit hurt. Oh, no. Oh, whatever will happen. Oh, it's over in 2 moves. You didn't stand a chance. Maybe next time, ease up on the shit talk, or maybe spend a little bit more time training your Pokemon, hmm? 
All right. <laughs> wow, I really started just laying into fucking CPU. All right. Um, this is my first time outdoors, you know. This isn't my first time outdoors, you know. You look like you're maybe 10 years old. I would assume in maybe 10 years you've been outside at least once. With a name like Campus Eve, I'm assuming you live outside. This is the, oh, it's not the first time I've been outside. Yeah, thank you for that. I'm going to change my whole battle strategy now because it's not the first time you've been outside. All right, planted its roots. Does Tumbly actually have a damage move? Because all I've seen him do is that one healing move. Oh, Vine Whip. Okay. That changes something. Ooh, okay. Uh, this Tumbly might be able to beat me, actually. No, no, no. Okay, I thought he healed more. But no, he doesn't heal that much. Vine Whip is going to... Oh, hurt. Holy crap. Right, I should be able to kill him with this tackle. And then I'll use Potion. Alrighty. 66. I was about to send Rypeck. Nope. That Rypeck is weak as hell. I probably shouldn't have even caught that Rypeck. It's too weak. Too weak to even bother training. Medicine. Potion. Use. Sweet. There we go. HP was restored. Quick attack. Alrighty. See, now we can use Bubble. So it's going to be a lot faster of a battle. Two hits and they're dead. Oh, Gust. Interesting, interesting. I wonder if we can get to the new town um, after this battle. Or do we need to go back and heal? Is what I'm thinking, is what I'm thinking right now. Whether we need to go back or not. Level 11 is nice. Oh, Water Gun. Nice. And we will get rid of Growl because who uses Growl? Alright, so Water Gun I'm assuming is like a little bit stronger than Bubble. Like maybe 40 strength in Bubble is 30 or something like that. Uh, let's actually check. Pokemon. Uh, there we go. I'm getting used to, I have to get used to using Enter as like A. Um, okay, moves. Water Gun is 40. Oh, Bubble is 40. There's no difference. It may also lower, I mean Bubble's actually better because there's a chance of lowering the speed. Um, interesting. Okay. Well, I guess we just have... It's the same move. We just have more PP on it now. Uh, alrighty. Let's run this way. Uh, what's down here? Ooh! What's this? Gobi Forest. More like Gobby Forest, eh? Alright. I think only Australians know what that means. What's down here? Where are we going? Where is everything? Oh, there's a forest right there. I just need to know cut. Okay. Maybe I should open my map. Pokey gear. Oh, we're at 40 minutes. We can actually end the episode. Oh, we started over here. So we started in like North Australia. I live down here all the way in Victoria. So I guess I would live in whatever town this is. It just doesn't say because we haven't found it yet. Haldoon Town. Route 2. Pitch Cave. So do we want to be going this way to this town over here? Or like this town right here? Oh, Gobi Village. So we need a, we need a cut then. So I guess we should be going right. Oh no! Wait a minute. I'm assuming if the if the name doesn't pop up, then it hasn't been coded into the game yet. So we started. Oh, we started there. So we can't go north. We can't go south. So we pretty much have to go to Gobi Village, and then to Sahara City. And I think that's the last city we can go to at the moment. Oh no, we can go to Patagon City. And Kalahari City. Alright, so we've got a few cities there we can explore to. Um, but I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching my comeback pretty much to Let's Plays. Uh, if you guys are watching this a year since its release or something like that, first of all, comment down below. I'm watching this a year since its release. Second of all, uh, yeah, I, I disappeared for a few months, kind of. I did a few videos here and there, but there were nothing like anything I've ever done before. Just trying some new things. I'm coming back to Let's Plays. And uh, this is kind of the start of that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, like the normal shit. Just like leave a like if you enjoyed it. If you didn't dislike it, sure. Why not? Let me know if you disliked it. And then, you know, maybe I change things. Uh, comment down below the code word, of course. And oh, wait, wait, wait I was going to check. Check if you guys can rename Pokemon. Ribbons. Sassy Nature. Apparently you can't rename Pokemon. Uh... 
Which item? Apparently we can't rename Pokemon. Okay, don't worry about it. I won't rename Pokemon this series, I guess. But uh, yeah, and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more Pokemon, uh, any Let's Plays, whatever, stuff like that. I have a Discord, Twitter, you know, the social networks. Just check the links in the description and see whatever interests you. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys uh, on the next episode.